What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be going over the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Store deals and offers for the US North America side of things. I'll definitely do an EU version tomorrow like I always do and let's go ahead and get right into it. If you guys want to see the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vitas on my second channel, leave a comment down below, let me know. Last week I actually recorded it but there wasn't any really good deals and I, I didn't really feel like uploading it because uh, there, there just was not that many deals on the PlayStation 3 and the Vita side of things. Um, so I didn't feel like cheating you guys out of a, a video. Uh, I, didn't, I did it, but I didn't want to upload it because I didn't want to waste your guys' time with it. So anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. We got the publisher sale. Save up to 75% off. These offers will end on the 8th of August 2016 and you want to take advantage of the deals typically before 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because right after 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when they usually update the store sometimes they're a little bit late like today but anyways let's go ahead and get right into it so we get 22 sales of uh, video games for Ubisoft Far, uh, Far Cry Primal is pretty cool have you guys seen the new update for Rainbow Six Siege this game is actually on sale for a freaking low price of under 20 bucks, which is absolutely ridiculous. If you guys are Assassin's Creed fans, definitely recommend checking out Assassin's Creed Syndicate, especially with the price point as it is currently. Um, always recommend checking out gameplay of video games before you guys go and purchase them. That way you guys kind of know what you get yourselves into. Don't go through any of the spoiler videos though. Um, Far Cry 4, we've seen this on sale from time to time. You could probably find it at your local game store for a little bit less. If I find a cheaper copy, I will include a link in the video description as well. Um, Just Dance, are you guys into Just Dance? I don't know. The Crew, now this is a complete edition. It's pretty cheap but keep in mind there is not a big multiplayer base on it so if you guys purchase it you might be free roaming by yourself uh, just throwing that out there uh, the division pretty cool it's on sale as well we get the gold edition uh, the game's still fairly new so we'll see we'll see it um, probably drop down a little bit more in price you could probably find a user uh, used copy on uh, Amazon or at your local game store I will include a link if I find any um, any deals that are cheaper you guys also uh, give me a heads up too I would appreciate that um, maybe you guys um, are on different websites or you know different parts um, I have GameStop over here, um, Best Buy, you know, they're a little bit more expensive when it comes to like used copies, but uh, GameStop definitely is a, the place um, that I go. Other than that, I go to uh, Amazon or eBay. Um, so Watch Dogs, uh, I don't know about spending 20 bucks on this, even though this is a gold edition. Just throwing that out there. We got QuakeCon, uh, wow save uh, up to 50% off let's go ahead and check out those deals we got 21 uh, deals in this so we'll scroll through this a little bit quicker doom is on sale right now a bunch of fallout dishonored definite edition look at that price guys wow that is insane 11.99 that's actually pretty cool the evil within us uh, is a pretty cool game as well wolfstein pretty cool let's go ahead and check out all of the deals we got 88 um we've probably gonna repeat some so let's go ahead and scroll down shall we uh, plants vs zombies garden warfare deluxe edition 34.99 uh, like i say that's the price point i prefer for a game like this even though it's packed with a bunch of stuff um, I still prefer that price. Um, I would recommend this one over just the game by itself because for five bucks more, you get a lot more. You get the deluxe edition. Um, the crew, we talked about that. Um, buyer beware. <laughs> we got a Hasbro Family Fun Pack, which is pretty cool. If you guys are into board games, 
I prefer playing physical, you know, actual board games with my friends, inviting them over. But um, from time to time, it could be fun. I'm pressing buttons. Monkey Flop, what are you doing? Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Dead or Alive, they have a free version. Go check out the free version before you blow and blow any money on this uh, loot. Uh, strategy Pack Bundle, this is actually um, a really low price. Uh, we've seen it uh, go for this price from time to time. Um, let's continue on. We got Monopoly by itself, but if you guys are uh, thinking about purchasing it, maybe 10 bucks more, you get uh, four games instead of one uh, for 10 bucks. I, th I think that would be a better buy if you guys are into like playing board games on your PS4. Uh, <laughs> let's continue on Monkey Flop. Monkey Flop. Um, okay, so now we're going into dynamic themes. I want to know your guys' honest opinions on spending money on dynamic themes and avatars at that matter because there are a plenty, a vast variety of free uh, themes on the PlayStation Network Store and there's a vast variety of free avatars on the PlayStation Network Store. Uh, what do you guys feel about spending money on uh, dynamic themes. I'll be curious to know in the comment section below. I've done it from time to time because I absolutely want it or need it. Um, the last one that I purchased was a Doctor Who theme. Other than that, I I mean it's been it's been months. I don't even know if I purchased one this year. I'm not completely sure. But that is actually going to do it for the deals and offers of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. If you guys haven't already subscribed, that would be awesome as well. I apologize if you hear my cat jingling his collar in the background. Ted. Ted. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, I'll have some more videos up today and tomorrow, so be on the lookout for those. Um, getting back into the swing of things, I've been super busy uh, for the past week, and you guys, uh, some of you guys have noticed it and been like, Monkey Flop, where are the videos? I want the videos, man. I want the videos. Um, they're coming at your faces. Um, there wasn't any like huge news stories or anything. Um, you know big to cover uh there was a few things here and there like trophy leaks and stuff like that if you guys want to see those type of videos let me know in the comment section below do you guys want to see trophy leak videos do you guys want to see um you know uh more details on games uh, i'm open i'm open to to your guys's uh comments and, and constructive criticism if you will um i i just can't wrap my head around the um the dislikes lately i'm like what the heck like every video i'm uploading is it is it like one person uh with like 11 channels or something <laughs> because the dislikes um i could understand disliking the playstation plus august even though i'm bringing you guys the news i'm not the one that chooses it but i could understand a little bit more dislikes on that video because we get some newcomers in and they're like what is this crap why am I getting this as a PlayStation Plus instant game collection? Um, but then the other videos, I, I just can't wrap my head around it. Um, for a while, I was getting no dislikes. So if you are disliking my video, let me know in the comment section below. Um, because there's no comments. There's, there's nothing. All it is is just, you know, like 3 to 12 dislikes each and every video. It's crazy. Um, and I, I really want to know why. Help me make my videos better, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. If you would, check out some other videos. That would be awesome. I'll see you guys later.